Yo, welcome back and thank you for watching my shit. It's amazing how this channel has evolved. We're just about to hit 100 subscribers. You might think, sick, PewDiePie gets 100 subscribers every time he scratches his butthole. I know, but for me, it means a lot, so thank you. In this series, we find good games that you can get your greasy hands on for a discount. If you want to stay in the loop, hit the subscribe button and help us close that gap to PewDiePie. Okay, enough with the cream pies, let's go. This might be the best gaming deal in May, well so far at least. It's so good that the developers seem to be hiding this deal and only showing it to people who are actively searching for their game. But it's good you have me here to do all the hard work for you. You can currently get your greasy hands on Bioshock the Collection Edition for 12 euros or around 15 bucks as it's sitting in with a heavy hitting 80% off. Nice. In short, Bioshock is a game where you, a dad, fight other dads to become the deadliest dad and acquire as many daughters as you can. By the end of it, you'll have adopted so many kids you'll feel like Angelina Jolie. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Bioshock 2 was set up almost from the onset to be a colossal failure. It was to follow one of the most critically acclaimed games of all time by a different developer with the inclusion of a seemingly tacked on multiplayer mode to a series that had absolutely no need for it. It had every possibility to be a disaster, which makes it almost shocking that it arrived in a state that was not only comparable to the original game, but improved and expanded on it in ways that would be hard to come back from. In truth, it's the sequel I never expected. Maybe nobody did. If you haven't tried it, do yourself a favor, you won't regret. Bioshock The Collection Edition, over on Steam. Let's go! Next up, we have Hunt Showdown, and in my opinion, there's nothing quite like it out there. It's difficult and challenging PvP, PvE, VP, you know what I mean, type of game. You play as a bounty hunter tasked with killing a high value target in an area infested with some sort of dark magic. The only problem is, you're not the only hunter out there. Once you've collected your bounty, you will most likely be hunted by players waiting to steal your shit. Which sounds exactly like the neighborhood I live in. I actually got this to play something that was a bit less stressful than Escape from Tarkov, and boy was I wrong. In all fairness, Hunt Showdown is one of the most unique first person shooter games on the market, and this is due to its hardcore nature and novel take on Battle Royale PvP VE mix. I think Hunt provides something that no other game does. In reality, it simulates you being a slave in the 18th hundred, being dropped in at level 1 and chased around by max level wankers shouting where are you boy over the voice over IP system, which the developers so kindly left in. Lucky for you, you can try the slave running simulator over at Steam, it's currently 50% off, making it a juicy 20 euros or around 23 bucks. Offer ends in a few days, so you gotta move fast to make it last like a blast. Mm, felt like a rapper there for about three seconds. Okay, enough mouth vomit. Ooh, that's difficult to say. Let's uh, move on to the next game. Uh, before we do, if you haven't hip thrusted the subscribe button with your ding dong, what are you waiting for? Thrust that bad boy into submission and send some ding dong love my way. Love you long time, better than wife. Next up, Ghostwire Tokyo. I haven't really played this bad boy, so I can't tell you whether it's worth your hard-earned money or not. It's currently 33% off, making it a somewhat expensive 40 euros. It's sitting in with a very positive reviews on Steam with a total of 9,000 reviews. It's not a lot compared to some of the other bad boys on this list, but we all have to start somewhere, right? From scouting the review section of the game on Steam, it seems people agree the amazing visuals and great enemy designs kind of carry this game's lacking gameplay and writing. It's fun, but also very repetitive. <coughs> Jesus, help me. It's also very repetitive in gameplay and map exploration. And it's a little on the short side. So I can't give this bad boy my world famous sick fish seal of approval, at least not for the price it's currently at. There is so much more fun 40 euros can give you, so it's hardly to justify spending 40 euros on this bad boy. But you do you, shorty. Next up, we have Astroneer, which is what No Man's Sky should have been. Astroneer is probably the best family game on today's list. I left my wife on a desert planet and laughed all the way until I realized she left me in a deserted house. Do you like oxygen? Do you like Legos? 
Do you like exploiting a planet's resources to build a bouncy ball? Are you comfortable with cuteness? Do you enjoy carrying things around in a backpack? Do you like friends? Do you not like friends? If you answered yes to any of the above questions, then yes, my friend, you should play this game. You can get your greasy hands on Astroneer over on Steam for 14 euros or around 16 bucks. It's sitting in with 50% off until May 16th. So, oh, and it's also very positively reviewed with a total of 80,000 reviews. So if you come across any good deals that you feel are worth sharing, throw them in the comment section. And if they fall within the criteria, I'll add them in the next video. What are the criteria you might be asking? Well, very positive reviews on Steam or better and a decent discount. Shouldn't be too difficult. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.